Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we wanted to show you guys a few steps to help automate your file storage in Windows 11. Before we jump into the tutorial, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so we're gonna keep this pretty brief in today's video, but we're gonna start off with a feature called Storage Sense. Inside of the settings, I'm gonna to go to System. We're gonna scroll down to where it says Storage. As we can see, we have underneath Storage Management something called Storage Sense. I'm gonna click into Storage Sense. Now, basically, we can configure this to automatically delete our Downloads folder. So if there are items in my Recycle bin that have been there for 14 days or more, or if there are items in my downloads that haven't been opened for more than 14 days, Storage Sense is going to remove those items. I'm actually gonna configure this to go a little bit quicker. I'll change the recycle bin to one day and I'll change the downloads to one day as well. And we're gonna run Storage Sense every week. So basically every week it's going to remove anything that's sort of unused in my recycle bin or downloads folder. Now, while this could be a cause for concern in terms of losing important information, I'll show you guys a little bit about my process that helps me ensure that I don't do that. So for example, I'll hold Windows key and E to bring up my file explorer. When I download an important document, let's say a PowerPoint or an Excel SX, I actually organize it into a folder for storage. So I'll pull up my file explorer in a new window. If I go to desktop and I'll go into work, here I have my important documents. So what I do basically is I'll copy or I'll cut these and I'll paste them into here. And let's say I temporarily needed a file that I know that I'm not gonna need long-term. I'll just let Storage Sense remove it because I don't need to store it in my downloads. So basically it keeps the downloads folder relevant to what you're using or anything that you need more than like a quick glance at, you basically just store that somewhere else. So that's the way that I would recommend doing it. Next up, we're gonna configure some automatic backups. I'm gonna open up OneDrive. If you don't have the application installed already, you can easily install this from Microsoft for free and you automatically get five gigabytes. I'm gonna right click into the OneDrive folder in my File Explorer and I'll click Settings. Here we'll click Sync and Backup and then I'll click Manage Backup. Here I can select all the documents that I want to be backed up on a regular and consistent basis. For me, I'm gonna select Pictures and Documents and I'll click Save. And we can view our progress here at any time. One more tool that we could utilize is the task scheduler. So the task scheduler in Windows is going to allow us to set any specific tasks that we want to run on a regular basis, or we can set it around a specific parameter. Let's try creating a task here. Inside of the task scheduler, I'd be able to set a specific task. Let's say, for example, to delete old files that are older than a year or something like that. And so we can use that to our advantage to custom create tasks inside of here. I'm going to hit create task and I'm going to call this one year. Okay, we'll hit triggers and I'll hit new. I want this to happen monthly. I'll select all the months and I want it to happen on the first day of each month. I'll hit okay. Okay, so we have our trigger in place. Let's set our action. We'll hit new. Here's an example script. We'll put this in the comments below. And this script would automatically remove items that haven't been opened in a year or more. I'm actually not going to set this task because I have things such as pictures that may not be open for a while that I don't want to remove, but this is just an example of what you could do. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about automating your file management inside of Windows 11, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. As we grow the channel, we are constantly looking for new video topic ideas. Therefore, we invite you to tell us your video idea. What videos would you like for us to make? Drop those in the comment section below as we consider every single one. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.